Hey guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'm <clears throat> out here about to get my wheel mow on and um, just surveying the property. Good amount of growth here. So, probably could stand for a little cut here. So what I'm going to end up doing is use my wheel mower. I'm going to give this a, a little buzz. Uh, go ahead and show you guys my backyard. So I have um, this rectangular pie shaped yard and um, I would say it's in really good shape. So I just started using a real mower. Um, like I said, about a week ago, I bought it two weeks ago, but my first reel was actually this past Sunday. And you can see that it's grown in pretty well. So my entire yard, some some pole over there and then some, and then there was a tree line where the, the that big red maple tree had a shadow line. I had to cut the canopy up. So basically, my yard has been uh, some work in progress. I would say that um, I've actually haven't been really tremendously diligent with my yard for many years. So now I've decided and getting it to this condition. Um, I've never overseed it. I will tell you the biggest thing that I did do different is just focusing on fertilizing, um, fungus control, watering, and last but not least is just mowing. I would say that mowing is hypercritical. So if you want to have really nice lawn, I'm going to tell you is you got to mow. You got to mow a lot. Um, most people, you can get away with once a week, but if you want to have lawn like this, it is June 2nd and this is my grass. I'm going to like, my grass is really pretty nice. I would say that it's, 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 um, it's real dense it's it's very full yeah despite I will say I will admit is yes the poa issue is pretty bad um, most of the poa is gone um, but it's trying to get it's trying to grow it's trying to fill in here but like everything in life you can't rush the process you got to just let mother nature do its thing and uh, here's the the big tree that I was talking about the red maple I actually had to um, cut if you see it some of these some of these cuts are pretty fresh so like it's a pretty fresh cut up here pretty fresh cut up here you know um, overall it's, it's up all about controlling the canopy the thing most people don't realize is when you are taking care of grass especially Bermuda you've got to be tremendously mindful of that you can't have shade. It's not very shade tolerant. Um, so you got to focus on what's more important, the tree or the grass. So it's a, it's a balance. It's, it's just about where you need to be. You know, um, for me, this is a pretty established tree. I've had this tree since it was in a five gallon bucket. And then what I ended up doing was um, taking care of it. And it's, it's really full. So the bottom, it doesn't hurt so so anyhow so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my my real mower so um, I've been always wanting a real mower I will tell you that um, I'm I'm really a traditionalist um, I don't like transmission drive lawnmowers I have a standard push mower I actually call it my Walmart special it's actually a Murray um, I'll do an intro on that another day but Here's my mower. I have a, I have an Earthwise. Okay, so this is my Earthwise 20 inch. I bought this on Amazon um, May 20th of this year. And I would say it is amazing. It's, it's by far my favorite mower. Uh, or my favorite real mower. Yes.
right, you guys, I am done mowing. And um, here's the result. As you can see, is over the weekend, I actually mowed um, mow diagonally. I actually mowed diagonally this way, and then today I went horizontally. And you can see is, but you can tell that it looks real clean and just cut. I would say it definitely looks manicured, so it looks really sharp. I so. If you guys are planning to get a real mower, I would highly recommend it. <clears throat> Alrighty, so there you go. Um, thanks for watching, and um, I appreciate everyone taking the time out to watch my video, and I'll see you guys next time on another mow.